off. We begin with a major new development in the Murdoch murder investigation. After more than a year of speculation and questions, investigators appear ready to name Alec Murdoch as the killer of his wife Maggie and son Paul. WSAV's Andrew Davis has been working on the story all day for us. He is joining us now live with the latest. Well, a grand jury is about to hear charges against Alec Murdoch connected to the killings of his wife and son. That's what Alec's own attorney tells News 3. The Murdoch family was actually told by the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. Now, whatever comes from that grand jury should provide some answers into a mystery 13 months in the making. I think the police have the mystery. My wife and child got badly. That was the voice of Alec Murdoch, June 7th, 2021, moments after he called 911 to tell them that Maggie and Paul had been shot to death on the family's Moselle hunting property in Collin County. I've been up to it now. It's bad. Okay. Oh. Okay, and are they breathing? No, ma'am. Alec Murdoch said he found the bodies, apparently shot with two different guns near the kennels. Alec, who said he was visiting his dying father in the hospital that night, was named a person of interest in the case by SLED. A tip line and a $100,000 reward offer for information into the killings was created, a reward that ended in September with no apparent tips. Details have been slim since then. Even today, SLED would only say that its investigation into the murders of Maggie and Paul Murdoch is still active and ongoing. And the South Carolina Attorney General's office wouldn't comment on reports of pending charges. Alec Murdoch's attorney, Jim Griffin, did release a statement that admits the family did find out about the charges this morning, but he had not been advised by the Attorney General's office of those charges and wouldn't comment until they're actually brought. Meanwhile, Alec Murdoch is facing more than 120 years in prison already for an alleged financial scheme that stole more than $8 million in insurance money meant for his clients and put it in his pockets instead. He currently sits in the Richland County Jail on $7 million bond. And while we don't know exactly what the charges will be yet, News 3 has learned that the grand jury meets on Thursday and could have a lot more details by that afternoon or at the latest Friday morning. Of course, we will tell you as soon as anything happens. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you. And late today, we learned that Alec Murdoch's law license has officially been revoked. The South Carolina Supreme Court said in its decision, quote, based on his admitted reprehensible misconduct, we disbar Alec Murdoch from the practice of law in South Carolina. Murdoch's license was suspended in September of last year. He decided last month not to protest the court's decision to disbar him. We've been following this case from the very beginning. To see the complete timeline of events, go to our website, wsab.com slash 